Hello, this is Ronald with Indicator Vault, and in this video we're going to go over the Logic Day Trading Indicator. We have it here on Trading View. And this is, in my opinion, a great, a fantastic uh, scalping indicator to use. It works well on smaller time frames, such as, you know, 30, 15 minute, and even 5 minute. Um, now this does work on all time frames. Uh, you, you know, you can certainly use it on the higher, the four hour, the daily, uh, but it works just as well on the smaller time frames too. And it has great precision as far as identifying, you know, just even valid supply demand zones, uh, selling, you know, great retracement levels and so on and so forth. Let me just bring up settings real quick. You can change these to your liking. Got the certain filters, the max bars that you look back in the range. You can change these. You know, these will fine tune the patterns, however, how many patterns you're looking for. And obviously it gives the signals for the buy and sell. But let's go in and just lurk, look how we could trade with these. And so one of the most important things is you if you're going to for instance use this for scalping you need to know what your daily bias is are you looking for shorts are you looking uh, for longs that will filter out a lot of these false signals so for instance you know as it gets gets the buy signal this still works out breaks up uh, above here kind of validating this demand zone. And look, it does go up and create a higher high. So that's one reason why I say it's great for scalping is you could use this to ride it up here, here on the 15 minute uh, chart. You know, these scalping, you know, buy and sell signals will still work great, but because it can give so many, you don't, uh, you want to filter out the false settings. You don't, you want to save your mental capital and not be trying to, you know, pick all of these apart, you know, to just get into a million trades every day. That's not how you're going to grow your account. You will blow your account over trading, but we can still see the incredible accuracy with these signals even in a downtrend you know it's still making note of where price is going so one uh of the best ways in my opinion to use these this pattern you know it's a pattern the algorithm picks up on is it is great for identifying valid supply and demand zones to trade from and you're going to find them inside of these uh, patterns so you're almost always even if price may not create a high or a low after it trades from here you will see great reactions from inside the zone so just for instance let's say you got in you wanted to catch this buy on the way up to take out this high so you missed it here but not a problem. You could easily just mark out that as a demand zone since it is inside. It's the most obvious one inside of this buy box, this green box. Price retraces into it, never looks back, soon takes out this high, and then soon after creates a, this new high. And so even in a bearish day, as we see it starts to move down quickly after that, you've still caught a great move up. Same over here. Sell signal. Of course, price shoots up, but the sell signal doesn't happen until this candle. What happens? Price retraces up, hits this supply zone, and falls. Now, let's go out to the four hour. 
And uh, like I said, this still works on all time frames, right? You can find great trades on all of this. But let me bring up that rectangle I have marked out to show you the price action we were looking at a minute ago. Get it on the candle there. So on the four hour, this is a you know, just a way to refine your trades if you wanted to, you know, use this for scalping or for lower time frames. You know, top-down analysis, start in the higher time frame. You can even just start in the four-hour. We've got a valid supply zone here. Last up-close candle. Breaks structure. Creates a new low with a strong down move. These two large bearish candles. So we're going to have that price marked out. So, you know, we see price retraces back into it. But let's go back down to the 15-minute where we were. See the zone is created here, and this is actually the price action we were looking at just a minute ago. Wicks up into here. So as it's wicking up into here, our bias is now bearish. We are filtering out the buy signals. We're not worried about those. So shoots up into here, get a sell signal. We can look inside here. If we didn't catch this, which by the way, if you enter on the close of here, price never comes back up above the box, the bearish box. You can see never comes back up above here. But if you wanted that extra confirmation, goes, breaks this low, the low that created this high has now been broken. So, See this supply right here, and then that extra confirmation, the indicator validating that as the as supply comes back up into it. And we can see just completely breaks down very soon after. But what do we see again? We're still in a downtrend. Mark out supply within the cell zones. But just from eyeballing it here, let me bring up. I've pointed this out in other videos. If you see long wicks like this, where this candle is mostly a wick, you know, it's reaching up into this supply. Like I just mentioned, we see this fractal repeat supply created inside of the cell box. Reaches up into it, falls below. Supply created inside of the cell box, falls into it, reaches back into supply, falls. This one's a little bit more tricky, but for long wicks like this, if you mark out the 50% zone of it, the price point, it will be highly sensitive. And as we can see, Price jumps into it, just barely pokes above it, continues its downtrend. Little messy here. You know, you, you probably want to filter out some of these signals just because it's mostly consolidating. But again, same thing repeats. Supply. Breaks below, outside of the box, just reaches into it, falls again, and just repeats. And so, from here, you can still easily be looking for cells since we've reached into our higher time frame, our four-hour POI. And this is giving, you know, plenty of opportunity. If you miss it up here, well, you can catch it here. If you missed it here, we trace back up and catch it here. Well, even if you didn't miss it, you know, if you're on your charts, you catch it here, take parcels as it breaks below this low, move your stop to break even, look for another re-entry. It offers it here. 
So get in another entry, take parcels as it creates another low, and then move that to break even. And you're compounding and growing your account super quick. So that's why I mentioned this with scalping. Again, you know, if you're a swing trader, this will work just as great. Validating and, you know, ac extra confirmation for supply and demand zones. But if you can just find that, I mean, you could use it on the four hour, the higher time frame. You can still use this indicator, find a supply zone on the higher time frame, mark it out like we did here. Go down to the smaller time frames, 15 minute, five minute, and repeat the process. The, the patterns this picks up on are very powerful um, to use in your trading. These are going to be very sensitive uh, price points and patterns uh, to use to, to identifying where momentum uh, is, is currently in the market. So I hope this video was helpful and until next time, best of luck trading.